Right, another Ninja Foodie video. Uh, this time we're going to cook duck and pancakes in here. All we've done so far, we've put this the tray in, uh, and on the bottom underneath here is a bit of water, just so not not enough so it comes up to the grill, the bottom of the pot bit, but just enough to keep a bit of moisture in there. And this is what we've got here: a couple of duck legs. They are okay. legs, aren't they? Yes. Yes. So, so what we're are you just doing? going to score them slightly. Why? Just so that the Fat can go in, probably. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just because well, it says on the packet yeah. to do it, so we're doing and it. And then we're going to use Chinese five spice, and Nothing. this is what gets makes it taste Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> so you just rub that in. I like a lot of spice, and you can put some salt on it as well. But I think I'm going to do that afterwards in the second before crisping. Da -da. You can do the bottom as well if you like. Okay. And then we're going to put them into our ninja fruity. Here we go. So what setting do you need? Pressure cook. Function. Pressure cook. Oh, so that's why we've put the water in the bottom. When you're pressure cooking, you need to have some water in the bottom. Do you? Is that right? Yeah. So yeah. pressure cooking, what it's going to do is it's going to make this super soft and it's going to make the like the meat fall off the bone because that's what you want when you do duck and pancakes. They need to be able to Moist. be shredded nicely. You don't want it to be dry, definitely not. But we also want to crisp them, but we'll do that second. So that first of all, good. we're going to pressure cook them. So we'll put it on the seal. Um, sure that's set to seal, yeah, yeah. Seal, and then I think we're gonna do it. Let's do it for twenty minutes because I think we want it to get like really nice and <laughs> like that. Is that the technical term for it? <laughs> yeah, really nice and soft so that it really falls off the bone. So let's do that. And it needs to. It says twenty minutes, but obviously it needs to come up to pressure. So it preheat might take always longer. takes a few minutes, doesn't it? And then yeah. it'll be twenty minutes from then, and then yeah. we will come back and see how it's going. Right, that's the twenty minutes finished. So when it finishes, it just stays on warm. So now we just need to release the pressure. Hey. Right, so you know it's finished. When see this little silver bolt thing here? When that drops down, that means there's no pressure left in the food. If that is up, that means there's pressure. It's a, it's a safety mechanism. It won't let you open the lid when it's up. It act, acts as like a lock. So when that drops down, you know there's no pressure. So you know this lid is safe to open. Ooh, so you can that. see it's well cooked. Doesn't look very appealing in the sense that it's not nice and crispy like the duck that you normally get from uh, the Chinese restaurants. But that's now where we're doing the air crisp to get the top crispy. So the duck is nice and cooked. So you can see it's the meat's falling off the bone. We need to get the water out first, and then we're going to air crisp. So we're only halfway through. So this yeah. this bit is just the first part of the process. Let's so get we'll it out of here up. for now. This. Hang on. It's basically cooked, but we just want to finish it off with a nice crisping. That's it. So let's take the water. The out. You're saving the water? Well, if you want, if you want. To what are you going to do with it? It's like a broth. Alright. Okay, you just put it back. So this is where the magic happens. So what do we do now? So now we change the function to air crisp. And I think let's do it for 10 minutes. So that's about half an hour in total, isn't it? Yeah, and you use the normal... Normal lid. Normal lid. 200? I don't know, should we do it less? What, what do you normally do it on? I normally just go 200. 200 then? Time. Yeah. Shall we do 180 and see if it does 180. A, see if it uh, does it right better. I don't know. Let's try it. There you go. Right, let's come back in 10 minutes. Right, one thing we forgot to do, we forgot to add salt. Yeah, because we didn't salt it at the beginning, right? but you just want to add some salt on the top, or we like it super salty. To help with the crisping. Yeah, there you go. I don't think you need to add any oil because the fat is already, the skin of the duck is already really quite fatty, so, but up to you. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Right, nearly there. Done. Let's see how it looks. Oh, there we go. See? So do you reckon I could do a bit more crisping? Does it? I don't know. You tell me. It looks pretty crisp, but maybe what? Another few minutes? Yeah, because we're doing it as 
at a lower temperature, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel as crispy as we want right, it to let's be. Let's get it a bit more crispy. So we've done it at 180 for 10 minutes so far. We'll do it for another five. Yeah, let's do so, 200 though. Let's blast it. So, oh, last five minutes at 200. Just to make sure we get that crispy, yeah, crispy you want skin. Crispy. We don't have to worry about it getting uh, dry because we've seen. Because we've pressure cooked it, you've seen how moist it is in there, so no worries there. Let's come back in five minutes. Right, here it is. So this is the end of its five minutes at 200. How does it look? Wow, much Whoa. better. Yeah, nice and golden and crispy now. Golden and crispy. Let's yeah, see how it shreds. Yeah, that's much better. I mean, you could even go a bit further, but I don't want to dry it out too much. So now we need to get it onto a... Tray. This is where I burn myself pretty much every time. I'm not using gloves. Loosen it. Okay. Let's do one at a time. Huh? Let's bring one over and see how it shreds. All right, and then you just use two forks. And you just shred it like this. Da -da -da. So it turns out we do give two forks. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, look at that. See how moist it is? Yeah, it's so it's the trouble with doing duck in the oven normally. It, normally it dries out, but because we pressure cooked it first and then only had to air crisp it for 15 minutes, it means it's still very juicy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect duck every time. <laughs>